Miles, you said when we first uh, got a chance to talk to you that Nico kind of reached out to you and said, hey, anything you need, that kind of stuff. And now that you've had time to spend with him, what's that relationship been like with Nico? Yeah, every day me and Nico um, just continue to grow, um, especially outside of the facility. Um, obviously, as a tight end and a, and a quarterback, your connection is everything. Um, and then the stronger that connection is off the field, the stronger it is on the field. So getting off the field with them, uh, just hanging out all the time, and then we transfer it to um, on the field and just getting one-on-one -on -one time and knowing like, hey, dur during this coverage, I'm going to do this, and just getting on the same page. It's, it's really starting to come together. Well, so. Why do you think this offense is a, a good fit for you? Um, I think this offense is a really good fit because I love how loose it is with the ball players. Like the coaches say like, hey, this is what we're looking for. And then they kind of just let us loose and be like, hey, go be a ball player. And um, I really like that. You know, like we got some really skilled tight ends um, that are ball players. Um, and they kind of just say like, hey, this is what we're looking for. This is what you need to do. But at the end of the day, like just go be a ball player. Um, and then in the box, um, like it's everything that I can kind of transfer my skills over into the box as well. So it's been really good. What about outside of the box playing in space? Do you feel like you've grown in that area of the game as well? Yeah, for sure. Um, playing out in space, um, it's all about reading bodies, coverages, all that kind of stuff. Um, and Coach Hayes has, has done a great job at coaching us tight ends up on that and just feeling space and feeling bodies. So it's been a really good adjustment. I mean, you're taking, you know, going through the process of trying to figure out where you were going to go. You talked with different coaches. How did, how did your relationship with Coach Hayes kind of blossom there? Because, I mean, he's telling you you're going to get a fair shot here. There's multiple uh, Holden's already come in from Notre Dame. Obviously, Ethan's already here. How, how, do you, how did you know that, uh, hey, if I, if I go out and earn it, I'm definitely going to you know, have a chance here? Like I said back in uh, my first interview um, in the spring, it was genuine right off the bat. Um, the more and more you deal with coaches, the more and more you can kind of separate the genuineness. So I knew right off the bat that they were not just lying to me and they weren't going to bring me in here um, with one year left just to waste it. Um, I did have a current or um, a previous coach here from Co uh, Hutch, Cody Cook, and he said, man, listen, like, you can come in here and work. We got some great tight ends, but, like, you're going to fit in. You're going to get on the field. And so, obviously, having here as a backbone and then meeting Coach Aves and seeing how genuine he was, like, I knew it was the spot. Where have you maybe grown the most since the spring, just being your first year, kind of settling in more? Uh, yeah, I would definitely say um, – I would definitely say out in space, kind of leaning up a little bit, um, taking off some weight so I can move a little better out in space. Um, and I would say uh, just playing wide and playing on those, releasing on DBs, second level releases, that kind of stuff. What were you weighing now and what were you when you got here? Uh, when I first got here, I was about 255, 257, and like right now, about 248, 250. Miles, as, as an older guy who's, who's played in this league you know, a lot and, and in the, in the in the box, as you say, what can you help Ethan with, and where, how have you seen him grow just to, in the physical aspect of playing the position? Yeah, so I'd say first thing, Ethan took his weight very seriously. Um, and the spring was a little light, uh, would still have good technique and strong backside hand and great feet. But whenever you're light, that can only do so much. Um, and he really took it upon himself to gain some weight. And so Ethan has done a great job of getting his weight up, getting stronger in the weight room. And then at the same time, like me and Ethan can kind of combo off each other where in high school he was more of a wide receiver guy. So I go to him and ask for help like out in space. And then he was like, hey, man, like I can't figure out how to do this in the box. And then we work off each other. Um, so he's done a great job at just feet, hands, and then getting his weight up. So. Have you seen that effect of him been being heavier all camp so far? Uh, no. Ethan, Ethan is a different breed. Like that dude <clears throat> has put on probably 12, 13 pounds. 15 pounds maybe, and it's like he hasn't lost a step. I'm, I'm very jealous, actually, but, yeah. Being a Kansas kid, like, are you guys aware of what Hutch is growing up? Like, and what did you how, – how have the lesson you learned there helped you throughout your career? Yeah, Hutch is a um, – Hutch is the real deal. Um, there are some great coaches there. Um, a lot of the coaches have moved on. Uh, obviously, Cody Cook coming here, O-line coach with the Chargers now. Like, they're the real deal, and they know how to coach us, and they know how to lead a program. And so just taking everything that I learned from there, like mindset, how to work, um, obviously to my next school that I went to, like 
it definitely helped me a lot to transition into the college world. What's this like? Just what, what's kind of your mindset right now with the, the path you've taken, how hard you've worked to put yourself in this position now, you know, to be in a spot where you've got a chance to, to play a pretty big role this season. Just a lot of excitement for you. Yeah, just uh, just blessed and grateful. Um, just praying, um, you know, while I was at Alabama. Um, just God, like, show me a sign and um, ended up here. And then you can kind of, like, get in the loop of things, and then all of a sudden it'll hit me, and I'm like, man, I, this is everything I prayed for. Um, so just excitement, joy, ready for the season, very ready for the season. So, and what's, what have been your impressions of the other quarterbacks, Gaston, Jay, those guys? Yeah, I think um, I think Nico has lifted them up. They've all lifted each other up, um, and it is just so much fun to watch, especially Jake grow as a young guy. Um, and gas and kind of being his older brother, like helping him along the way. And those guys compete day in and day out and just come out like it doesn't matter who's in the ball game. Like, you know what you're going to get out of those guys. Like, they're all a bunch of studs, and I can't wait to see what they do this season. What's the competition like at, at the tight end spot right now and, and going into the first scrimmage where you kind of emphasize that you need to do to, to, to win that job? Yeah, I don't know if winning the job is necessarily like obviously last year you saw Jacob Warren and Cali play a lot like we got three dudes we got a lot of dudes but you know me holding it Ethan that we can all play um, and so I don't think it's going to necessarily be like hey you're the dude you're going to play 80 snaps and that's it um, and so I think all just continue to compete and grind and uh, continue to push each other because we're all going to be on the field this year so yeah anything else what's the best stepbrother scene did you touch my drum set? <laughs> I know you touched my drum set. 